In today's video, we have a quick look at the in-game editor. How do you get this in-game editor? And what can you do with the editor? What's the difference between pre-game editor and in-game editor? Well, let's go have a look. And as you're in the startup page, you want to go to more and then click on downloads. And in here you have in-game editor and then you have all your other Steam Workshop add-ons that you can put in. But in today's video, we're just going to go through for in-game editor. So what we want to do is click on the buy now button. And as you can see, we've put in all of our details and we're ready to check out. And now we have unlocked for in-game editor. So for in-game editor enables for real time editing of a number of items within Football Manager, including all player and staff attributes, under the hood attributes such as current ability and potential ability. So that means you don't have to edit these, but you can just go onto some certain fields and go show hidden attributes and it shows you. And then we have transfer players and staff between clubs and much, much more. I didn't mention before, but in UK, it will cost you £6.99. I believe if you go to FM Scout, that they have an in-game editor, and I think that's free, but you might be restricted to what you can do. I've never used it, but do go check that one out. So as we load up our game, I just want to give you a bit of comparable of pre-game editor and in-game editor. In-game editor, it states what it is. It is a editor that you can have a already loaded up save and make changes to that save. A little bit restricted in some parts because that's where the pre-game editor comes in where you can completely restructure an existing league or create a new nation and create new league structure within it. But you can't add that editor file to an existing save. You would have to start up a new game and that's the biggest difference I guess. A few new features has been added to the in-game editor of where you could only do them for pre-game editor beforehand. Biggest questions I got asked last year was, Dupa, how do you change the sub rules in a league or Champions League? And you had to go through for advanced rules and change it within there. Not anymore. If you have in-game editor, your current saves, buy it, go in there and make those changes. Another cool thing that you've got is the work permits. So if you find someone across the globe in Costa Rica and he's a gem but you can't get him no work permit well now you can go in there and add or remove work permits where you need to be so that you can really really get those gems into your team and then for other ones that you can do are sponsorship and finances so yeah you could top up your balance but now you can add in sponsorships you can go to a club like barcelona where we've got so much debt and just clear do you have transfer clauses on players that you've got and you're like oh he's got a 23 million pound minimum release clause Nope, not anymore. In-game editor, get rid of it. And with in-game editor, a bit of a nostalgia add-on to be fair, but you can retire a squad number for your favorite player. You go 10 years and he becomes a legend. Number 10, you can retire that squad number with again, in-game editor. Let's go check these out. This is one of saves where I did a basic pre-game editor video. I added in Dupa FC into the leagues, created them, created a stadium. If you don't have the little pen up here, what you can do is you can just go to for options, go down, down to preferences go over to advance and then go down to interface and then there it is i've got it unticked just because i don't really use it untick it and there you go there's the little fm in-game editor and then if you go to a pen where you can't actually do anything you can just go to an in-game editor online manual we won't do that today because we're just going to go through stuff we go into a player i've created duper and if we click on the pen and here we go we can just start editing and you can start changing as you can see nationality my age any of the numbers i don't know i want to be a better finisher and then suddenly just go 20 there we go we're now 20 on finishing dynamics again let's have us really good dynamics and then we go back and go stop editing and there we go we are now perfect with our dynamic and we now have 20 finishing but you can also do more you can move players to other clubs say messy and go again up to for pen and go move to my club you can put in a fee we're going have him for free and take him now and literally just have him like that so Lionel Messi has a work permit but you could go to other players and really mess them up I don't know let's go to Man City obviously Haaland was born in 
England, so he doesn't need a work permit. Let's go to who's their next best player. Oh, how about where's the Boyner? We go to contract and we go into here. As you can see, he has a work permit. You could just untick that, and now his work permit has expired and he can't play. But worst thing is that they probably would just apply for it. Don't know how they would do that, but end of the day, I've taken off. What else can we do? What else can we do? Edit staff details in here, attributes, staff roles. So that's me. Then if you go into squad, what can we do here? Allow squad registration anytime. Allow squad numbers anytime. Change all morale so you can make your morale all perfect. I mean, it's literally, if an in-game editor is becoming more and more advanced, it's great. Remove board objective, growth for club's reputation, so you could just get rid of that. Just change everything. Remove all bans, remove all injuries, remove all unhappiness. You could cheat the crap out of the game, but if you enjoy doing that, then go for it. It. As I say, if you're going to cheat, cheat. If you're on a diet and you want to cheat your diet, you ch you cheat your diet. You know, you go out and buy 10 Mars bars, 10 Snickers, and then on your way home, you visit KFC or McDonald's and go large. You can freeze attributes if you think that they're prime and you don't want to change them. Like, oh, Holland, is he going to improve? He's still young, so he's going to improve. Or you can just actually just change them all to 20s, freeze attributes, and literally throughout their whole career, they are going to be supreme. Let's go to to a competition if you go to edit competition details how do we change subs overridden sub rules oh that got me that's getting me excited because that is going to be a lifesaver for some of you so what can we do in here you can change the name of the competition if you wanted to change your reputation change the maximum and minimum pitch lengths winter ball color winter start date and all that jazz and there you go oh you can even enable var database settings so if you want that competition to have var or not goal line technology but subs, this is the one that you got them all. So let's go five from 12, go okay. And it doesn't stay 10 for rules unless I need to go back and in. There you go. Yeah, so it's now refreshed. So go back, go forward, and it will refresh for you. So 12 subs named, maximum five views. That's easy. No more advanced editor anymore. So you can go into yourself and edit yourself. Makes stats much better. And you can do that with any staff. You can go to a Man City manager and actually edit him. Start editing. And there you go. You can make him rubbish. People management. No, he sucks. And put him as a one. And then lastly, finance. So if we go to edit club details, you can literally do everything in here. Repetition morale, club attendance, change your club colours, finances, change professional, semi-pro, bank balance. Let's do 999. Nine, nine, nine. Then it's one, two, three. One, two, three, right? There we go. And you can see it changing in background. There you go. We've now got virtually a billion pounds. But the worst thing is we've only got 445k of budget. So again, back to club details, finances, scout and budget. Oh, we can just put up a few mil. And then transfer budget. Let's give us 500 million. One, two, three. One, one, two, three, and we'd be we'd be professional as well, and go okay. And there you go. So we got a billion pounds in the bank, five hundred million transfer budget, five million per week on wage, and we got three million pound scouting budget. And that's just to keep my team afloat, I guess. Because if I'm cheating, as I said, if you're going to cheat, cheat. You just free transfer for players you want, and just have a super team. Or you might want to play the game and just change sub rules. Now changing sub rules, fair enough, it's cool to do. And then obviously play it with realism, just with the sub rules that you want. It's fine. But if you want to go in and do it in game editor and do it that way, it's fine again. So back to club details and just have a quick look. Uh, Sugar Daddy, you can put on there. Uh, now have income as well. This is a new thing, income and debt loans. So we've got kit sponsor, you can add in as many as you want and debts and loans. So if you had debts there, clear them, get rid of them. So I could go into other clubs and go, Man City, I'm giving you a billion pounds worth of debt just to make it fun. So the world of in game editor is now becoming really advanced and pretty quite fun. Now is Sports Interactive going to do anything this year for free game editor? From this update, no. It looks like they haven't. It's because you don't pay for the free game editor. You pay for the game, which they make changes for. You pay for the in-game editor. They make changes for. But I really, really hope at some stage that they will use it as a feature. If they run out of things to do in-game, then why not look at the pre-game? Because I know there's a lot of us out there who would love to create league structures or create existing league structures in a nation already but make it easier for us to do or be able to create the super league or edit champions league without having to move the champions league into a nation go to advance and then make some changes and then even then you're still restricted maybe one day but at the moment we are now getting some bits for in-game
Game Editor. Star. So happy days. If you like this video, leave me a like. If you wish to watch more videos like this, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and have a good day. Thank you for watching. Continue your journey by watching this.